<laughs> oh, I know Josh's first impression of me. Very mousy. No, you thought I was fat. <laughs> uh, going to Glass Roasters is quite chill because they have seats just along the roadside. So we can just sit there and like watch the world go by. And I think the best memory is just sitting there for a very long time and not doing anything. I feel most loved by you when you do things for me when you know like I'm very tired, when I'm having a hard time and you just, you know, there to listen and they're very patient with me. Joshua, you have come a long way. Seven years, I believe, you have been together and you finally made the decision that you want to do something very public about this love that you have for each other. You are therefore saying that you will be accountable for the vows that you will be expressing much later on. This marriage is not about yourself. It's about the mission that you both share in Christ Jesus. Be hospitable, he says. Reach out to the poor. Now, why would we have a reading like that on, on a wedding day? Simply because this is the essence of a wedding. This is the essence of a marriage. It is not about you. It's about how the world must benefit from this relationship because you chose to live a sacramental life together. Joshua, take you and to be my wife. I promise to be faithful to you in good times and in bad, in sickness and in health, to love you and to honour you all the days of my life. I am take you Joshua to be my husband. I promise to be faithful to you in good times and in bad, in sickness and in health, to love and honour you all the days of my life. I say, 